The governor's office has just announced a special election to fill the seat of El Paso State Representative Joe Pickett. He is vacating that seat. The Democrat announcing last week he would be leaving the post he had held for the more than two decades to focus on his health. As he and other lawmakers leaving office pack up their belongings to make room for the new ones, Pickett is taking an unusual item with him. He spoke with KXAN's Wes Rappaport about his time in the House, what's next, and the piece of history he's bringing home. Amid the office furniture as lawmakers rearrange for session. Yes. A strange sight. Packing things up is a little different for me than everybody else. In the halls of the Capitol, an antique automobile state rep Joe Pickett sneaked into his office a few years ago. Getting it in was a complete secret. I said we're going to be bringing some stuff in. They didn't think too much about it. Everything was wrapped. You couldn't tell what it was. It's out in the open now, much like the El Paso Democrat's cancer diagnosis. He found out before last session and had surgery, but needs more care. First wave a couple years ago, I kept it kind of secret. I think the worst is behind me. At the same time, I don't really want to do all that and 18-hour days. So he's leaving the legislature, taking his 1927 Ford Model T with him. He wheeled his classic car through the Capitol as onlookers marveled. The relic became an office icebreaker. You know, where is this guy from? How come he's got a car? What does he do? And so it, it brings attention to a community that is so far west. He leaves the state house a West Texas staple, a titan of transportation issues, his legislative legacy making its mark even today. When we were driving in this morning, um, there's a silver alert on the freeway. I created the silver alert. So it was just kind of, hey, that's kind of strange. Up next, he hopes to heal. I'll be feeling good here in a few months. I better watch out, you know. That's what got me started in the first place. I, was pissed off about things not being done the way I thought they should be and so I'll be back you know just don't know what capacity uh, yet but I'm pretty honored I'll be around. And that was Wes Rappaport reporting from our state capitol. Pickett says he's in talks with management at the El Paso airport to put that popular piece on display to share with everyone. Pickett has been in office since 1994 the same year George W. Bush was elected governor of Texas.